One of the number one reasons parents come to me about primitive reflex integration is because their child is having difficulty with emotional regulation. Whether that's behaviors, um, aggression, they're reactive, like go from zero to 100 really quickly. Basically, they just cannot handle their emotions. And this is a big sign that the nervous system is underdeveloped. So we really wanna look at all the reflexes, but especially the Moro reflex when we have emotional regulation troubles, as well as sensitivities and hyper or hyposensitivities to sensory input. So let's talk about the Moro. So the Moro is that reflex that as a baby, if they get wet or they get scared by a loud noise or their head moves, they cry out, first take a deep breath, they extend their arms, they extend their head back, and then they start to cry. And this cry is basically to keep them safe because they're calling out to their caregiver, come and save me, come and help me. My diaper's wet, I just fell, um, something's cold, you know, like they just don't know what's going on. So it can be triggered, Moro, by a movement of the head, it can be triggered by sensory input, such as the coldness of um, like a diaper or whatever, um, different touch and that's why tactile information is so important um, and just sensory input like auditory information is triggered with the moral reflex and it also is integrated with the moral reflex as well as other reflexes but the reason that it's so important for emotional regulation is because it is all about that safety piece Moro is really about bonding and feeling safe with your caregiver. They're going to protect you and save you if something is wrong. And that's where we need that reflex. And then once it's integrated, we're able to hold our emotions on our own and control them better. As our reflexes integrate, we're able to then use our top down or cognitive control where then our brain can say, oh, like I shouldn't get upset about that. Or, oh, that was a loud noise and it's, nothing to be scared about. I can just go about my business. It was just a loud car or whatever. But kids who still have their moral reflex unintegrated and other reflexes, they do not have that top-down control. So they're still living in this kind of fight or flight world where different things will like make them react as well as sensory inputs can make them all of a sudden go into fight or flight where they think the world is ending if a car, a loud car comes on or a vacuum or um, a blender or something, then all of a sudden they get really, really scared and they're either running away or they're fighting and they're getting aggressive. So we work the Moro, um, no matter what, I always work Moro just because some research has shown that even if it's integrated, it helps other tonic neck reflexes integrate. So Moro is always a part of my treatment plans. Now I'll start with the starfish for most kids where we're crossing our arms, crossing our legs, flexing into a ball, and then opening up and extending our head back. We can do that in a seated position. We can do that on a supine position. With young kids, we can help them either in supine or we can do it with them, with them in our lap and kind of copy the movements for them. I really like that as a bonding technique as well. Um, Moro is just a very important reflex if you are dealing with any type of emotional regulation issues. And if you know that could be an issue, you want to look at all of the core primitive reflexes, the other tonic neck reflexes, spinal reflexes, hand and feet reflexes to make sure they're um, integrated as well.